All right, step three is pulling in that CSV file to PowerSchool. So I'm going to go to my assignment list, and here's that ethics test that I've pulled my scores for. I'm going to go over to this gear wheel and import scores, browse files for that um, first period grades CSV file. Make sure this says listed under CSV. Once you change it um, the first time, it pretty much stays that way, I've noticed. I'm not going to include my first row as information because that's where I have my headers for everything. And then if validate student names is on, you want to take that off, actually. And <clears throat> depending on how your grades are calculated, if you do points or percentage, you would just set that. Then you're going to hit next. And here it pulled from my CSV because we already had our student number in the first column and then their name in the second column and then there's the score that I pulled in. So this is the preview of what is going to be input when I hit import. If um, you get this exclamation point along everything then we may need to troubleshoot where the um, problem is coming in but because I told it not to pull from first line that's why I'm getting that on the first line because it's not going to give it's telling me that that line is supposed to be ignored. So I'm going to import, and there are my grades for those students. Now, um, when you do this for another assignment, you don't have to do step one. You've already created that spreadsheet, right? So you'll just go back to step two, export from Classroom or Moodle, and then come back here and import that CSV file. So once you do the initial setup, it should go pretty quickly. Let me know if you have any problems.